we are going to test ai capabilities of figma which allows you to create not only wireframes but high fidelity designs by just entering what you want so if you go on the bottom right and you go to the first draft it asks you three types of things instead of creating everything from scratch what figma has done is it has given it a component library to the ai which based on your prompt takes certain components from those libraries as you can see there is 317 315 components in it and it only takes from those components so it's not like it will create some custom components based on your sketches so let's so let's take a basic wireframe and i'll paste a prompt which is an e-commerce mobile app and it has like a home page a details product page and everything is there so let's take it next instead of putting a bunch of details we'll just give it one sentence to create the wireframe and let's see how it is different from the previous one so to start off a longer prompt creates more amount of design whereas just to a single app would create like a generic version of the app because you haven't mentioned it what screen you are designing so definitely don't go for like an app that is an e-commerce go page by page so here since my prompt was having multiple pages in single prompt you should avoid that you should you should consider one single page at a time here because i have it has multiple things it has just put everything in just one screen but still we'll review it and go through it so first one is just a wireframe of an e-former that sells clothing accessories it should have a home screen with featured products so it has followed that and after that a details product page so this is like a detailed product page with multiple views a chino pants and add to cart button there's a checkout flow also after that with multiple steps of payment so that they have put like multiple steps this is pretty much standard and lastly uh, a user profile page that includes history and everything so like that i think this it has failed to do that it has created another version of the home page itself so few of the things may not work. remember it's not creating from scratch it's drawing from a library of components so you have to explicitly mention what type of things you would need if you are prompting yeah definitely you should avoid using any sort of generic sentences like mobile app that sends uh, creates and sells clothing accessories so it, you would just get a generic uh, design with like basic wireframes so i would recommend instead of directly going to figma ai for prompting first go to a existing chatbot like cloud and open ai and ask that chatbot to enhance your re simple requirements into a technical one you can ask the ai to enhance it with ui element words technical jargon related to wireframing and even anything type of a guideline that you want to include like an ios and or android this way it would tell the figma ai exactly which component to use from that 380 component library and your wireframes will be more varied as opposed to something that figma has decided on its own the words that you use in your prompt will guide it to use specific ui element for example a list view versus a card view a section a four column layout all these technical things you can ask an existing chatbot and only copy paste that prompt to figma ai and that would greatly enhance your thing lastly just make sure that you go step by step for each screen and don't put everything in one uh, prompt so let's take a look at prompting techniques for app design in figma here i have just used a generic e-commerce design prompt which is just asked it to create an e-commerce app and it has come up with this one which is pretty good but if you take a look at the wireframe it is again the same thing so i think they have a version of the same component in wireframe form and a real form now i was thinking whether advanced prompting techniques and keywords would change the output and then i added a really longer output result is pretty much the same because there was the word e-commerce in it so then i just thought oh, what if i get rid of the word e-commerce and then i just like okay with a home page with a featured product so then it guessed that it is an e-commerce and again it used the similar type of thing so as i mentioned earlier figma is just using a component library and with based on your text prompt it is using components from that library that's why we don't get to see a lot of variety in terms of design also figma doesn't give you an option to just change instances of this component it adds it as like a detached component so i can't even like select this and make variations of this like maybe different layouts of the section that would have been really good but it doesn't work like that and even here i have asked it to create a detailed product page with select size and shopping cart so yeah it has taken a fair chance and a good attempt to it but if you can see 
it has created it had created the same thing in the wireframe also it has used the same thing so again this confirms that it, they are using the same component but in they just they are just styling it in like a wireframe when you are creating next i just ask it without any context like detail select size or shopping cart i just asked it to create a e-commerce product page and here it has pretty much given the same type of design and then i asked it for an advanced one where it has a multiple options of create selecting color shopping cart but again it has just given me the same design so there's lack of variety of components maybe if that component from where the ai is deriving this data if it had like a thousand or a two thousand component this way this design would have changed with these, these three from but it has given pretty much given the same design uh, and once if you go here and click on make changes the text prompt doesn't work on that much but yeah this one i really liked which is basically not even an ai feature it's basically like a parameter change where you select something change it because it has tokenized everything so spacing and all will change so this is not even a ai related but it's a good handy feature in the start of this one i had given it a really long prompt and it had created this type of design in the same skin so i thought what happens if i give it for the mobile design it has changed the first section but pretty much everything else has become the same so it would really help if figma could just allow people to op like give their components to figma to train or just derive it from i don't even think they have to derive uh, train something it is just it's using component with a description and keyword if it thinks that the keyword is matching with the component set it is adding into the flow and with an auto layout so overall it's good enough for beginners to learn design but not any if you are a serious company looking for design i think this would have this could help you ease with communication a bit but it won't give you a final product so that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one